Everyone's going on about Christmas dinner this, or Christmas dessert that, but they're forgetting the most important meal of the day, Christmas breakfast. I mean, if you're going to be gifted a shirt that doesn't even fit you, at least have some good grub with you. So I made this, Christmas hash browns. And yes, my voice is more froggier than usual. I'm just recovering from a cold. It'll go away in a moment. Weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we now, I'll you to begin, you're going to need this famous starchy grenade from Idaho, the russet potato. Uh, go with about three large russet potatoes. Next step, grab a potato peeler and peel them. Next, let's take our peeled potatoes and stick them in the microwave. Why are we putting our potatoes in the microwave? To cook them in order to make the hash browns. Also, it's easier. Listen, these are Christmas-shaped hash browns we're talking about. They're not some sort of super fancy Michelin star potato dish. Honestly, stop being a snob. Meep. And microwave them on high for five minutes. Cheers, Oh look, the potatoes have gotten smaller and there seems to be one more. Holiday magic! <laughs> oh, and uh, apologies, my neighbors are throwing an obnoxiously loud Christmas party next door. Dear God, there's not enough eggnog in the world to get me through this. Also, my raspy voice is back. Well, one while it lasted. Anyway, once our potatoes cool down a bit, shred them against a box grater like so. These might still be hot, so you might want to use a paper towel. Oh, and uh, one way you can tell if the potato's correct is if you take a shred, it needs to be mostly cooked with a tiny bit of grain to it. Anyway, let's add our shredded potato to a bowl. Okay, we got our proto hash here in the bowl. All right, let's season with one teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And just a quick dash of cayenne pepper. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this stuff is pretty sticky. And compress it into a metal Christmas shaped cookie cutter. Link in the description if you want one. All right, you want the potatoes to come up halfway. Make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies. That's where it's going to suffer the most. That where it's going to count the most. Okay, once it's nice and compacted halfway up, gently remove the mold. Aw, little guy's ready for the deep fryer. Okay, time to fry. I have here a straight side saw tape pan filled halfway up with oil, and next to it, a cooling rack lined with paper towel. Oh, and uh, make sure the oil is set to 375. Are you celebrating the death of Henry Kissinger? The number you're looking for is 190 degrees Celsius. So let's grab one of our Christmas hash browns and gently lower it in. Cook until they're golden brown and delicious. All right, once they're nice golden brown like this, transfer into our tray. Hit it, and uh, hit it with a little bit of salt. All right, now let me just fry off the rest of these. Once the hash browns are done, serve them with a side of Christmas pancakes, or just eat them. Honestly, I don't think you'll want to hear another moment of my froggy voice, so let's just end it here. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm ZJ, making cooking fun. And mean it at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. My god, this episode is more backwards and inconsistent than a Hassan Piker apology.